everyone, this is Ryan again with creatingawebsiteguide.com. Uh, we just went through the basics of how to choose a domain name. I went over some of the, the criteria to think about, including whether or not to use hyphens, um, keyword research a little bit, whether or not you should use keywords, I mean, and um, whether or not to keep it, it shorter or longer. And so I decided basically that, uh, that I'm not going to use hyphens. Um, keywords are an added bonus if uh, if they're not already in your business name. So I'd recommend using your business name first and foremost uh, for your local, uh, this is specifically if it's local um, website. So since throughout this uh, this case study I'm creating a business from scratch, uh, just using it ex as an example, um, I'm just gonna try to use keywords in the name as well. So the place to look for uh, whether or not your domain name is available would be there any of the hosting providers. So since I'm using hosting from Bluehost uh, throughout this uh, these video tutorials, uh, I'm just going to go to bluehost.com, which is what you see on the screen at the moment, and uh, I'm going to go to sign up now. So from the keyword research uh, that I've done uh, that you've seen in previous videos, uh, Green Bay Lawn Care is the ideal one that you want. Um, so I'm going to see if that's available right now. So Green Bay Lawn Care dot com. So that's under I need a domain name right off the home screen here. So and I'm gonna click next. Not sure if it's available or not. Unfortunately, it's not available for registration. So uh, there's other ideas. Um, you can get a dot org or dot biz. I I'm not really keen on that personally. Um, I'd rather have a .com. So let's go down to the bottom here and maybe try something. Maybe I'll call my business name Green Bay Lawn Mowing. Because it's uh, short to the point. Uh, there wasn't much for people looking for that term, but um, but we can also still target the keyword lawn care. Um, the domain name isn't that big of an influence, so we'll see if that's one that's available here. And congratulations, that one's available. I got lucky here. Uh, again, my metro is not a huge, huge metro. Um, so we're just going to go with GreenBayLawnMowing.com. So this is where you can check to see if your domain name is available. So uh, this is great to do before you get way too attached uh, to one specific one. Just make sure that it's available before you get your heart set on it. So again, just go to Bluehost.com. And on, on the front screen, just hit sign up and then check if your domain name is available. So go ahead and do that now uh, and uh, watch the next video, uh, which will be about hosting and uh, actually setting up your website a little bit more uh, now that you have your domain name picked out.